Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. A widely followed measure of inflation rose in April, though the pace of the annual increase provided some hope that the cost of living will head lower later this year. The Consumer Price Index, which measures the cost of a broad group of goods and services, increased 0.4% for the month, in line with the Dow Jones estimate. April consumer prices climbed 4.9% from a year ago, which was less than the 5% gain anticipated by economists polled by the Dow Jones. Treasury yields tumbled following the report, further supporting a stock market which has been worried about higher rates snuffling out economic growth. Traders, however, remain divided on whether the Fed is done raising borrowing costs, with some markets bulls predicting rate cuts later this year. Overnight, the tech-heavy index added 1.04%, the S&P 500 added 0.45%. Finally, the Dow Jones Industrial Average inched downward by 0.09%. Overall market gains were constrained as cyclical stocks, which are most closely linked to the economy, traded lower. Shares like Nike and Caterpillar ended the session lower, as some investors reason that the inflation was slowing because a recession is imminent or has already arrived. Airbnb and Twilio fell 10.9% and 12.6% respectively, a day after reporting weak forecasts. Electric vehicle maker Rivian closed 1.8% higher, a day after the company posted a narrower than expected loss. And on the EV front, lithium companies Alcom Limited and Livent Corp announced a $10.6 billion all-stock merger to become the world's third largest producer of the metal for electric vehicle batteries, aiming to meet the growing demand for major automakers like Tesla, General Motors and BMW. Earnings season continues tomorrow with results from Disney and Robin Hood. Despite the latest sign of inflation increasing at lower monthly clip in April, Wall Street remains seemingly cautious on sparking a full-blown rally. Traders also monitor the latest updates on the US debt ceiling as worries mount that an agreement may not be reached before June 1st, which is the earliest date that the Treasury Department says the US could default. President Joe Biden held a key meeting with the congressional leaders after the bell on Tuesday, but comments from leadership on both sides of the aisle suggested that little progress was made. Biden and congressional leaders will meet again on Friday. Overnight, U.S. sectors were mixed. Communication services was the leader, whilst energy sector was the worst performer. And the U.S. Northeast and Europe are bracing for an exceptionally hot summer, with temperatures expected to exceed historical averages, raising concerns for crops and energy consumption, as scientists predict a higher likelihood of above-average temperatures in regions including the Northeast U U.S., Spain, France and Italy from June to August. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. Thank you for listening.